Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a giveaway of some of the macros you might have seen before, but they're for use with general selections and the way that I do them with macros. So I've, so far we've got hue, saturation and luminosity selection macros. And this is a set here, which is the selection masker, as you'll see in a moment, which can work with any of those after you have processed them. So the way to get them is go to the link down below then you've got to have up the library, which is you get through View and Studio. And at the top here, click on the hamburger, click on Import Macros, and wherever you've downloaded to, it'll be like this. You double click on that or click Open, and that will be installed here. Right, let's have a look at what they do. But first of all, we need to have a selection. So I'm just going to use the Hue selection here and go to the Smart and Simple selection. And I turn off the bottom layer to see the selection, double click the procedural texture to get the controls. I'm not going to go through the controls here, but it's actually defaulted to having selected the grass behind. And that's kind of good enough, really. So we'll use that for our example. So the question now is, what can we do with this? So normally what we do is I'd select that layer and then apply one of these here. So I'm going to go from here to the selection masker to apply these. So one of these is convert to selection. So click on that and unsurprisingly it's going to turn this into a selection. I can turn on the bottom layer again. Notice the top layer has disappeared because it's literally converted it. And there I can see this so I can use the selection in a normal way, for example, by bringing up a control. So I'm going to do an undo to go back to where I was before. Now then, what else can I do? I select that layer, convert to mask and spare channel. So if I click on this one, then I'm going to get, the, say the top layer there is, of course, undone. So I can turn that on, but there's the mask underneath here. So I can alt click it to see that's the mask that is selected. To put at the bottom there because it's out the way so you can see the layers above it. And then you can drag it into the position where you want to use it. The spare channel is down here under the channels tab. So I could, for example, if I went to here, say, put on, say, curves. And I turn this up. But I want to apply this just to the grass. Then I've got the spare channel down there. I could drag the zone mask up to here, but I'm just going to use this. So I'm going to right click on that and say load to curves. And now I'm just applying it to the grass. So let's undo back again. There we go. The uh, convert to selection mask and spare channel simply does all of the above because sometimes you might want that, but mostly you're going to use either one a selection or a mask or spare channel. Uh, convert to mono will, when you've got the top layer there selected, click on that and it's going to turn it into black and white and of course leaving the opacity uh, clear here. So if I turn the bottom layer on now, it can look a bit funny but if I can use this to do things like go down to say something like the colour dodge there and a bit heavy there but I can turn that the opacity of that down so I can just brighten up the colours there for example. So let's undo that again. And convert to mono and stretch does the same sort of thing, but all it does is an auto levels, which is a thing up here at the end. So it means that the black and white here ranges all the way from black to white. So if you're doing a picture which is fairly muted, you can stretch that and make sure you've got that full level of ability to control it. Anyway, that's it. Um, just to let you introduce you quickly to those if you're not seeing them before and gives you more things to do when you're using the selection macros here. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching.